Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. You're watching In Deep on the Delta, and if you love to fish the River to Sea Whopper Plopper, I've got three tricks for you. And they're not only going to help you to catch more fish, but they're going to save you some frustration. So let's get into them right now. And the first trick that we'll talk about is the one that's going to save you frustration. And one of the problems that I see a lot of people that come on my boat make, they throw the Whopper Plopper out and they start reeling it right away. Now if you saw that cast, you'll see the bait hit the water and because the whopper plopper is a fairly heavy bait for a topwater bait it hits the water and immediately it it drops down a couple inches below the surface so when you throw it out and you start immediately to reel you're going to see that the bait takes a foot or two to come up on top and the propellers start moving now watch this again and I'll drop it and I'll hit it and that I have probably got two or three cranks of the reel before that bait comes up to the surface. So what I want you to do, uh, and, and here's, the, here's the problem that that brings. If you are in very shallow water and that bait drops down, the first couple feet is where it usually picks up you know, uh, a piece of a weed or whatever surface vegetation is out there. And as soon as this bait picks something up, it basically blows that cast. I mean, they're, uh, they're not a weedless bait. When they do pick up stuff, they, they tend not to work right. That tail just won't spin. So what we're going to do is you're going to throw it out, give it a second, and then start reeling. Now if you saw that, you saw the tail start to spin as soon as I engaged the reel. And that was because I gave the bait just a second to hit the water, come back up, and then start moving. We'll do it one more time. The other trick would be obviously instead of keeping your rod tip low to the water, keep your uh, your rod tip high. You throw it out, it hits, it's come up. As soon as I turn that crank, it's on top of the water. So that'll save you some frustration if you're used to throwing out, and the minute you start reeling in, you've got something on your, you know, you've got something, uh, uh, some type of vegetation on your lure, and, and it's causing you all kind of problems. So that's the first tip. The next two tri uh, tips have to do with cadence. And first one is a mistake that I see most people make. They'll throw the whopper plopper out and they'll move it too fast. They'll burn it into the boat like it was a, um, a buzz bait. And you will catch fish by doing that. My suggestion is, is to slow down just a little bit. And that tail will tell you when you're at the right speed because it'll hit that plop, 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 plop. Now, We'll burn it, we'll stop it. Hopefully you can hear that plop. So instead of burning it back to the boat like this, just slow it down and listen for that plop. That's the plop that brings these fish up. That's tip number two. Last but not least, you can fish this like a popper. And what I want to make sure you're watching this bait when you're fishing it, because as I'm popping this, even though the bait stops, the tail will rotate a couple of times. So even when the bait is stopped, it has motion. So the technique here is just throwing it out and then twitching it like a popper. And I don't know if you can see that tail, but even as I stop it, that tail continues for another revolution or two. And that is an extremely effective um, uh, technique when you're throwing the whopper plopper. One other tip, well, last tip of the, of the evening, I'm going to give you four tips today, this is a bonus. Make sure you stop that bait on the retrieve every now and then. A lot of times they're going to hit it as it stops or as it starts. And believe me, if you Vary your retrieves, make sure you slow down that bait, uh, work on uh, giving it just a second to pop up before you reel it in. You're going to catch a lot more fish and, and again you're going to save yourself a lot of frustration. So if you found these tips helpful, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you su subscribe and uh, watch some of my other videos. If not, hey I'll see you guys on the water, thanks for watching.